first. College Station police are on scene at a major accident at Southwest Parkway East and Texas Avenue. Right now, Southwest Parkway is shut down in the westbound and eastbound directions. Police are encouraged. A 17-year-old is indicted in the shooting death of a Denton Geyer High School football player. Michael Bryce Underwood was indicted on a charge of manslaughter, a second-degree felony. 18-year-old, the government shutdown isn't affecting schools or, in this case, preschools. Primrose Preschool opened its first branch in College Station today. KX HD News reporter Jenny Walsh talked to parents who say this area was in need of a school like this. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Monica Castro. Former West paramedic Bryce Reed has pleaded guilty. He will now face a maximum of 25 years in prison. This guilty plea includes conspiracy to make a destructive device and attempting to obstruct justice. Those are lesser charges than possession of a destructive device, which is what Reed could have faced in a trial. Reed's attorney says he wanted to plead guilty to the lesser charges because they more accurately demonstrate his involvement with a destructive device, or in this case, a pipe bomb. He wanted to get this behind him. Uh, he didn't want to put his family through a long and drawn out trial that would have been bitterly contested. And it was, it was important to him that he, um, you know, he admit, he would take responsibility for what you know, he felt that his actual role was. During this entire time, Reed has maintained his innocence, that he had nothing to do with the West fertilizer plant explosion just weeks before his arrest. Now his case is going to the probation office for a pre-sentence report. The U.S. Department of Labor announced today they're citing the West Fertilizer Plant Company for 24 major safety violations that led to the April explosion. OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, has also fined the plant just over $118,000 for the violations. We have continuing coverage of a case out of Caldwell where a grandmother was murdered and granddaughter sexually assaulted. The Texas Center for Defense of Life has sued former Burleson County District Judge Terrell Flanagan for ordering a 15-year-old girl to keep living with her grandmother and the woman's convicted sex offender boyfriend. Six months after the girl went back to live with the couple, sex offender Edward Clinton Lee shot and killed his girlfriend and sexually assaulted the girl. The anti-abortion group said... Through the SEP grant last year, an additional 603 speeding tickets and 193 additional seatbelt violations were issued. Now, have you ever...